So today we are going to talk about how to start a food business in four simple steps. So if you want to start a food business, a lot of times many people uh, don't know where to start. They get loads and loads of information from the internet. They follow YouTube channels, they watch courses and all. But they have so many uh, ideas in mind, so much confusions and so many things that it actually confuses them more than uh, it, uh, give, it gives them a path to start. And uh, that is what I have faced. And so many people come and tell me that I want to do this, I want to do that. I want to open a cloud kitchen, I want to open a home kitchen, a restaurant. But I don't know where to start, what to do. So I have got these four steps for you, which if you follow simply, they are going to help you to focus and start your own food business in a step-by-step -step manner. So the first step which I want you to focus on is planning. So before, I mean it is said, uh, but obviously that uh, if you are planning it right, you can win half of the war right away. So the, the proper planning is very, very important. And I believe that planning is basically... Uh, you have to first finalize what you want to open. Is it going to be a home kitchen? Is it going to be a cloud kitchen? Is it going to be a restaurant? Now, there are various things which you have to focus on when you are deciding this. Uh, I believe that if you are a very, very newcomer in this field, if you have, don't have any experience, if you don't have any, uh, for that matter, any iota, and a single iota of experience or idea, the best way to start in a food business is to open a home kitchen because I think it is the easiest one to open. You don't require a lot of capital. It is the fastest and it is the least riskiest. What will happen if you open a home kitchen and you close down? Nobody will even come to know. Uh, uh, compare it with uh, if you are opening a restaurant and if you close it down, a lot of people will come to know and you will also feel bad. You will lose a lot of money. So planning is basically what would be your concept? Where would you open it? What would be a target clientele? What would be your uh, name of the business? What would be your menu? Uh, how? What kind of licenses you need to open, uh, need in order to start that? Uh, how are you going to raise the funds? Just in case you want to open a restaurant, where are you going to get the funds from? And etc. Uh, etc. Et that all comes in the planning stage. Then we will talk about the second step, which is executing. Once you have planned everything on paper. Then it time it comes a time when you have to actually execute it. You have to uh, you have to rent out the place if you want to open a restaurant. You have to apply for licenses. You have to go for logo design. You have to uh, make the menu. You have to uh, start recruiting staff for your restaurant. You have to uh, do all the work in the restaurant, maybe electrical work or uh, tiling or furniture fixtures and uh, so software system kitchen equipments and all those things so you have executing is a stage where you have you actually make the restaurant or a home kitchen or a cloud kitchen so that itself is the uh, stage where the rubber meets the road you know that is where you actually start executing it and that is a phase it, it should take you around minimum of 15 days to a maximum of two to three months to actually execute the whole plan and start a restaurant of course the licensing and everything once you have applied for it, they will come over a period of time, but you have to apply for it. I strongly suggest everything you should do is do it legally. Don't do illegal stuff, which will, I mean, don't uh, save a penny and then you lose pounds. You know, it's like don't save in rupees and then you will get a huge penalty in lakhs of rupees. <laughs> so the second step, as I said, is executing. Now comes the third step, which is optimizing. Once you have opened a restaurant, then the initial restaurant or a cloud kitchen or a home kitchen, the initial one or two months or three months, you will actually improvise your operations. So optimizing is basically, I know it is a very fancy word, but it means that you will optimize your whole operations. You know, how is the staff working? How is the quality coming up? How are the operations? How is your customer getting experience? How is the cleanliness maintained in the restaurant or your home kitchen, how is the packaging done? So that, that is a time when your rest, your food business is a baby and it is trying to stand on its own. So the, the, that will take you around two or three months and that will actually also give you feedback from your customer what they liked, 
what they didn't like, what is the suggestions and all. Of course, you don't have to take all your suggestions from your customers. The reason is that if you have thought about starting a particular cuisine or if you have thought about starting a particular style of food, you have to give a little bit time for your food to make place in the heart of your customers. So it's not that just after two weeks, somebody tells you that namak jada hai. Namak jada hai, namak kam is fine, more salty and all. But let's say your uh, uh, pav bhaji is a little spicy. So you can adjust according to what your customer tells you. But the feedback has to be taken. Uh, feedback has to be taken on its face value. Don't be very emotional about it and start scolding your uh, staff and all. Are kya namak jada dal diya? Mistakes will happen. It's like how the baby is trying to uh, stand on its own feet and it starts falling and all those things. So the in, the initial three months after you open, after the implementation is ending, the three months will be the optimizing phase and the fourth. And most important phase after around one or two or three months is the promoting and scaling. What I mean by promoting and scaling is you should start promoting your food in on online platforms like Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you, you have to do it offline also by distributing your menus, by letting people know that you exist, by uh, calling. If at all you have any contacts for PR and all, you can do a little bit of PR also. But putting your name out there on locations or portals or venues where customers are already available gives you a lot of boost as far as visibility is concerned. And nowadays, because of this cutthroat competition in the food business, even if you are owning a home kitchen, a cloud kitchen, a restaurant, or for that matter, any type of food business, you have to put yourself out there. I'm not saying start running ads worth thousands of rupees, but <laughs> whatever is available whatever resources are available at your disposal uh, you can do that you know try getting uh, roping in lot of influencers to create reels for you so that they are put on instagram and the word of mouth spread uh, secondly try to call uh, some editors from local newspaper channels to cover your restaurant it might cost you a little bit that is also fine but do that so the idea is for promotion and scaling is to put yourself out there after three months of fine tuning your restaurant where you get to know which are your best love dishes, which you can, you know, which is the cuisine, which is the combo, which is the package, which you have to uh, showcase in front of your customer so that the customer sees it and comes to your restaurant and has a good experience and then starts uh, talking about it with its friends and all. That is how uh, restaurants go viral and that is actually the last step of this fourth, uh, last part of this fourth step, which is scaling. Once you're name uh, becomes prominent and famous in the marketplace a lot of people start coming in and that is how you scale your business so initial uh, maybe six months will be on a low low but once your name but please understand there are two ways uh, to promote this either you can just rely on word of mouth or you can actually take an active part in start promoting your restaurant i would choose to uh, choose the second uh, option because that will give you fast growth so don't be kind of like, uh, I'm not going to pay for this and, you know, free ways of chahiye. See, uh, word of mouth is good. It is free, but it takes time uh, because, I mean, there are only so many people uh, your customer will uh, talk about and his experience. Uh, he, has, he has his life to live, you know. <laughs> so uh, that is how you uh, create and you build and start a restaurant in four steps. Again, summing it up, first one is planning. Plan each and every detail so that you don't forget it down the line. Second is executing it. Once you plan it, you have to execute it. Third is then optimize it for three, four months. Get to, you know, plug all the loopholes and uh, get your everything in place. And fourth is promoting and scaling. That is how you set up your own food business. I'm glad. Uh, I hope you like this. If you like it, please share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, or if you have not followed this page, please do that. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm Gopal Kamath. I'm a hotelier, a restauranter and the founder of Get Your Restaurant. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.